suppose I want to create a file. Then the file creation is basically done by using a command called as touch. If you want to touch, so touch a file. For example, I am creating a promo.txt file. Okay. Now, if I basically hit enter, if I do ls, you will see promo.txt is created, right? But have we added any content? No. So if you want to add some content also, you what you can do is promo.1.txt by using this greater than function. Okay, you can add hello and hit enter. And now you will see if you do ls, right? You will see there are two files, which is promote one is also now created, right? So let's do ls minus a, right? You will see nothing in this case because there is no hidden one. ls minus la, which will basically now give you size also. Now, if you do ls minus la, which is list the directory with the size and permission, you will find that okay, which the uh, new folder is basically the size is 4096 and it is basically giving you zero, right? So I think it is in kilobyte, which is KB, right? So even if we have some content into this, for example, sortme.txt, if you see, right, it is 52 KB almost, KB, kilobyte in this case, right? So all this information is given to you. This is something called uh, this, this part is basically, which means that the permission that I will explain you, don't worry in this, okay? 40996 is basically converted into a uh, kilobyte to megabyte, it will convert it to 2 MB, something like this, right? So this is actually the size and size. We are not concerned about it, right? What is the size right now we have in this case? Okay. But I want to see what exactly is present into this. Then I can use a command called as cat. Cat is if I type promote one dot TXC, you can see, okay, there is no content right now in this, right? So let's add some content. So if you want to add some content into Linux, right? So Linux also have something called as text editors. Linux also had in the command line. Also, you have text editor, which text editor you guys are using right now in Windows, which one you use notepad maximum people you will use notepad right yes or no so in the linux based system right they generally have something called as vim right so there are three actually vim is also there there is a vim and there is a nano there are three which you can basically install and you can use command line to add anything into the file. You can even add anything because there is no UI in case of Linux. There is no UI. So we need a editor which can basically works on the command line. So there are number of editors available, right? So Vim, which is first one we are using. So if you type command like Vim and my file name, which is promote one dot txt, you will see hit enter. Now you are into a text editor form. You are into a text editor here. You can write content. So if I, if I press I, I basically means insert. I want to insert into this machine. So this is, so now I can type, this is a text file. We are learning the Linux commands, right? I am using a Vim editor. Okay. So we have installed a Vim editor into this machine. This is a command line editor. If you see, right? So if you want to save, if so, I am writing, if you want to save this file, click on the escape and do colon WQ, which basically means write the file and quit. WQ is basically means write the file and quit. So if I have to do escape. Now you are out of the insert zone. I have to do colon. You will see a colon option W Q hit enter. Now you, if you do clear, if you do LS minus LA, do you see any change? Okay. Let's see. Now you will see there is a 195, which is added clear. So it means we have added some kind of memory or we have used some kind of memory now with this text files and we have used a BIM editor. Right. So you can find more information about the Vim. So if you just Google Vim, right, you will say Vim.org is an open source project. It is nothing but a similar to notepad, but it works only in command line. That's the important part, right? So you can read more about it here. All the commands, all the documentation. If you want to explore more, right? There are free books available. There are commands available. By the way, guys, uh, it is powerful than notepad. You know, it is powerful than notepad that you guys are using. You can do pattern search. You can do search and replace. You can find a particular pattern. You can replace something into a Vim. You can basically copy paste you can append two files you can do multiple things you can do a reject search into a vim so vim can do multiple things i'm not going to take a accession on the vim but vim editor itself is a super powerful editor it is almost similar to visual studio code that you have seen visual studio not the notepad plus plus it is almost similar to visual studio code that we are using in case of ui it is so powerful even visual studio code doesn't have a feature of pattern match vim has a feature of pattern 
start and match you can find particular strings also in case of vim vim is very powerful in this case okay and it is available for the free linux based system i hope everyone is clear cat is clear cat is basically to copy now you can use cat command so cat is basically i want to see what is present into this file so i am doing promote.txt you will see all the content will be printed into your command cat is basically used for cat copy and see copy and see copy and see cat like like cat used to see right what exactly is there so cat is basically used even you can use more command more one dot txt also you can do same purpose almost same purpose you can use less also less is also a command these are almost similar but there is a minor difference in this case where less can give you if you need only number of files for example if i say less right with some argument for example i need only five lines then you can do that also so it is just that they are providing you some more feature less more and cat all of them are similar just that if you need only five line if you need only one line if you need only this line if you need only regex right then that's the difference between all of them now another command which generally people prefer to use is called as tail right tail is a command which is basically there tail command is basically used for logs okay so suppose i have certain logs which are coming into this machine so whenever we run automation whenever we run automation there is a application dot log log file which is created and in this file we add the logs so whenever you will be writing in selenium automation api automation anything right you will write some kind of log into the a text file text file where you will be writing the log okay i have clicked this button now i have basically done this right log is something you will basically note it down somewhere right okay i'll give you an example whenever if you suppose if you are going to a library librarian will basically lock down your entry it will note down your entry okay so who is there okay so nishan nisha is there nisha is basically come at the this date and she has basically taken this book that is a log right and whenever we are running automation we basically log everything so how log is helpful log is helpful for example our automation code is breaking so we will know that okay clicking on button is fine now after clicking this button there is a second button where we are not able to click because log is not present or log is missing so to debug the automation code also we require a log so log basically contains some information for example you can have this kind of log so vim let's say this is a application dot log log is generally used it but again you can have a text file also anything log is just a log file okay so you will have a log like this for example 12 go to insert mode by using i so you are in insert mode you will find there is a something like this you have seen it multiple times so for example uh 12th march click on the button right and blah 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 something like this then there is a date again date and time something like this right and even time also there then blah 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 blocks so if you cat this cat this cat is basically co copying this right you will see this is this kind of log generally are presented to us which means we can see how our automation is doing so if you want to continuously see that this log file will be continuously adding right if we are running our automation so suppose i am running an automation right now this file will be continuously appending whatever the automation is doing and i want to check where it is failing so i can use a command called as tail tail minus s application log now what will happen is i can monitor this file it is like i am monitoring this file if some new log is added a new log is added i will see it here so tail is basically used to monitor a file and we are just tailing a log it is very similar to tailing a log tail is basically view the end of the file so we are basically seeing end of the file so if there is a new entry we'll see the end of the file again yes or no so we use tail command for this okay and you can see head also so head is basically used to start of the file for example if you do application.log right right it will give you start of the file from where it is there right right now it is printing you because this file does it, suppose uh, we have 5000 records into this file right then we can see only start 10 lines start five lines by using the head command in this case so properly if you want to use it but you should see this, this is not mandatory head is very very rarely used I am just marking which are important. Okay. So PW is important. I'm big making it bold. LS is important. CD is important. Cat is you will be rarely using it, but important. Tail is something you will be using it for logging purpose. Touch we have seen. Touch to use to create a new file or empty file. Now question is, Pramod, can I create a.pdf also? Can I create a new a.pdf? New PDF. Suppose this is a new, new PDF. Can I create it? Yes, you can create it. See, a new dot PDF is also created, but it's an empty. Okay. But we don't know how to edit a PDF, right? We don't know how to edit a PDF. Only Adobe readers and everything are basically there. So you can create any file. 
by using the touch suppose i want to create promote.promote so this is also there so promote.promote is also there okay we don't know how to open this file we don't know anything about this file but it can be created it's an empty file if you do ls minus la it's an empty file nothing is there in this file see promote.promote right and if you want to delete see now just now people ask this how to delete rm rm is there so rm promote.promote that's it it will be deleted do ls now you will see the file is deleted can i delete the new dot pdf also yes can i delete the new dot pdf also yes delete it right but suppose i have a folder i have a folder name let's say delete me okay and i am trying to delete this what will happen it will say no it i cannot delete it it's a it's a directory right what should i do you have to use rm minus rf which is remove it recursively basically for a folder forcefully and then folder now it will delete the folder also so rm minus rf but it is a very dangerous command suppose if i am doing rf minus rs star i can delete all these text files so let's create some text file into this okay so suppose i am into a folder let's say the delete me folder is there i will go to this folder right i will create a few com few files let's say promote.txt 